Hey everybody. And welcome to Bourbon Bites. I am Clifton and this is this Thursday's live stream. Hope everyone is having a great night tonight. Um, I just, again, want to apologize for the mess. I <laughs> This is the last time you'll see me streaming from this room. We're actually moving to a new apartment next week. So I will not be live next week, um, but I have an additional live stream that I'm going to start up. Um, so there'll be two of me a week. Um, um, so keep up to date. Patreon kind of already knows about that. But um, if you're here just to chill and hang out, yeah, you may be seeing double of me soon. So <laughs> what's up, everybody? What's up, Donnie? He said he had some Jim Beam lined up to drink with us. Um, Trev Wilson here. here. Perfect time for party time. Um, of course, this is just the party. Um, if you're interested in the after party, um, that is for Patreon supporters only. Um, right after the stream, I'm going to do a Google Hangout, and it's a ton of fun. Everyone here that goes to them can attest to it. It's so much fun. Um, I put the link to the Patreon down below. Um, Donnie or Trev, whoever's going to beat, it, <laughs> beat, beat each other to it, um, link to the Patreon. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, we um, it's a $10 tier and up. But we always do a fun after party afterwards. So if you feel like you can support the channel and uh, you want to do so, I would love to have you on Patreon. And of course, super chats are also always welcome. But um, the real party is over at Patreon. So <laughs> uh, what's up, Brian Brinicky? Good to see you. Um, let me know if my mic seems a little loud today. Um, I, I did some playing around in my software. So um, it looks like it might be a little loud. Let me just turn it down a little just in case. I think it might have been. I think that might be a little bit better. Um, thank you, Donnie. Much appreciated. It. Yes, it's patreon.com slash bourbon bites. Um, also, I, I announced this last week, but I have some new merch up. i um, got some bourbon bite shirts, some stickers, a notebook, um, lots of cool stuff. If you're interested um, and you like the look of it, I do plan to have some more cool designs coming soon. Um, but for now, it's just a logo. So yeah, check that out. The link of that is also on Patreon and in the description below. Uh, thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Um, what's up, Steven? Good to see you again. <laughs> Oh, Donnie, you're awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> so tonight, um, we are doing a lot of whiskey. So that's that's the one reason I wanted to promote the after party, because we're going to have a lot of pours tonight. And you guys know Cliffy shows up after a few pours. So um, if you want to see him there, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, stick around. Um, Donnie says he has some t-shirts on the way. Thank you so much, Donnie. Um, I appreciate it. I actually bought two myself. Actually, the whole reason I set up the store was to buy shirts for myself. Um, but then I'm like, hey, people might want to buy them. So I put it up and yeah, I've gotten a few orders now. So I appreciate it. Um, Tammy's wearing her bourbon my shirt tonight. Oh, wow. You guys got it that fast. Oh, that's awesome. Mine took forever to come. Um, cheers, Tammy. I appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah, so what we're doing is we have two things tonight. So I'll let you guys vote. Eh, no, I think I've already decided what I want. <laughs> Never mind. You don't get an opinion. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do first is I have the new Jim Beam single barrel. This is the one that is 108 proof. So this was recently released. I don't know the exact release date on it, um, but it is significantly higher proof than the old label Jim Beam single barrel. This one is only 95 proof. Both single barrel um both i don't know if they're both non-chill filtered i actually don't know about this one yeah it doesn't say the other one definitely says um the other one says doo -doo -doo, unfiltered yeah so i don't know about the other one but so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a comparison of the new and the old yes i know it's higher proof but does that mean it's better i i'll tell y'all this is my second bottle of this and i just bought two more my store has been having them on sale for 20 bucks. Like these are normally like 30 to 40, but 20 bucks is ridiculous. I've bought four of them so far. They're so good. I mean, yes, they're different single barrels, so I, I could be wrong eventually, but but as of the ones that I've gotten, they have been delicious. Um, what's up, Wheels? Hope you're doing okay, man. Um, those of you in the Whiskey Discord, which by the way, if you're not familiar with that, I don't have a link to that anywhere, but um, check it out. I have a channel there to get like notifications about my streams. Um, Brandon was in a car accident today, so um, hope thoughts and prayers go out to him. Um, hope he, he says he's okay, but hope he feels better, and hopefully um, the car situation can be you know taken care of quickly and easily. So, cheers to Will's. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour both of these Jim Beam single barrels. Um, but first of all, while I do that, what are y'all drinking? I assume you know, some of y'all have like some Jim Beam products everywhere. Um, 
I you don't have to drink the Jim Beam label stuff. That's what I've been drinking um, tonight. But you could drink some Booker's, some Knob Creek, some um, Baker's, or some um, Basil Hayden, whatever. Or Old Granddad. Yeah, there's so many, so many Jim Beam products. So drink whatever you have the Jim that's Jim Beam related, or don't drink at all. Up to you guys. <laughs> um, James Taylor, what's up? Hope you're okay. Or hope you're okay. I was like, like, gosh, everyone's in a car accident. <laughs> Good to see you, James. Um, Lil says, holy shit. Uh, single barrels have always been priced. I usually just upgrade to the nod knob. Very true. To be fair, though, on the, on sale, this is about the same price as the knob Greek. So, again, of course, if it ever goes back up in price, I may change my opinion a bit. But I've been, I've been loving these for 20 bucks. Um. Oh, Brandon, not late at all. Like, seven minutes. You're fine. <laughs> um. What's up, Chris and Lil? Making breakfast. Well... Jim Beam's nutty. It, go, it goes with breakfast. I don't know if you do American-style breakfast there. I don't know. Um, but I feel like Jim Beam's a pretty good breakfast whiskey. Knob Creek, of course, I think it is. Um, oh, Donnie has the whisk cord link. Yeah, thank you. I actually did, I need to put that in my description. Yeah. I am not the biggest Discord user, but I'll tell you, it's been a lot of fun hanging out on there and getting to chat with you guys all day. It's a lot of fun. Um, I assume that's an aloha, Don. <laughs> Abjaha. Uh oh, aloha, Don. Good to see you. Um, oh, so, the, so, the, Donnie, the, not Brandon, not that Brandon was in the accident. It was the wheels, wheels who was here earlier. Brandon, Brandon's fine. Brandon Weiss, as far as I know, he's fine. But, um, wheels, um, was in a car accident earlier today, so. Uh, Lil's got to work this afternoon. Well, you know, a morning pour will wear off before, before, um, <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to make everyone think, Brandon, that you were hurt, I'm sorry. There's two Brandons, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is, um, but yeah, I guess, it, did I say what I was doing the other part of the stream? This is part one. <laughs> part two is, um, I'm going to do a blind flight of four different Jim Beam expressions. We have the Jim Beam Double Oak at 94 proof, or no, whoop, 86 proof. Um, we have the Jim Beam Repeal Batch, also at 86 proof. We have the Jim Beam Bonded. I'm trying not to knock these over. I have a lot of balls on my, my table. Jim Beam Bonded at 100 proof. And finally, for the Blind Flight, we have Distiller's Cut. Um, also 100 proof. So, two 86 proofs, two 100 proofs, um, all blind. I think it'll be fun to find out which one I prefer. They're all pretty similar. Repeal Batch I got really cheap. Um, Distiller's Cut I can't find anymore. And then Bonded and Double Oak are pretty much everywhere, so. I know, I'm sorry. That's, that was my bad. That was my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Tomorrow's Brandy time. Okay, so, yeah. So, the Blind Flight is what we're gonna do next after we compare the two single barrels, so. So how many of you have tried or seen this new single barrel? It looks very similar to the Stiller's Cut. That's why they keep double checking the label. <laughs> um, I it, it did not pop up until very, very recently out here in California. The other one's been around forever. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm noticing the 95 proof one, the one that I bought four bottles of. And I see why. I mean, again, I'm, I'm judging this as a $20 bottle because that's what I paid for it. On the nose is very, very nice. It's very, not the typical Jim Beam, you know, it is nutty, but it's not like that's all there's there. There's a really, I don't know how I describe that. It's almost like a, like a, I guess brown sugar. Brown sugar is kind of the territory it's in, um, but it's a little, little different. Um, I'm just going to pull up a, something real quick. I always like to have a little reference guide here um, of a flavor wheel just to, to look at while I'm going through. It's just always, it's always, it's, it's very helpful, especially when I'm trying to, like, review things. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Just want to pull that up real quick. Uh, oh, what's up, Ladoo? Uh, still have distillers cut at Total Wine. Man, I still don't see it out here. I'm, I'm jealous. I wish I could find more of it. I, I, I used to buy it all the time. It's, it's just such a great deal. But now, I mean, shoot, I'm not going to complain about the single barrel being that price. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's not very oaky on the nose. I would say it's more in the uh, see, like I'm I'm better with the notes now that I have reference. Not quite tobacco, but it's more. It's definitely like a brown, like a 
maybe clove, I would say. I don't know. It's it's interesting on the nose, but you guys know I'm not the best at nosing. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers. It's almost in the flavor wise, it's very similar to like a baker's. It's it's more of that fruity element, almost citrusy. I mean, I, I do get a lot of orange peel on that, like almost, or even like a like a, a tangy, like a lemon zest or something. Very very light fruit, but it's still the the finish is extremely long for the price. I mean, <laughs> you guys think this is? I mean, okay, for the price I paid. I need to stop saying the price because this is like a thirty to forty dollar bottle elsewhere. It's extremely long for what I paid. Um. I would say the finish is just as good as like a Knob Creek finish, just as long. However, I do think the, the flavor isn't as well-rounded as a Knob Creek. Um, of course, I could be comparing it mainly to the single barrel Knob Creek because that's what I buy most of the time. Um, because, I mean, this is a single barrel Jun Beam, so you would think they'd be similar, but I, I still think this is more in the baker's territory. Um, Brendan says, next time I order something from K&L, can I grab you one? Of course. Yeah, um, if they still have them, um, I'll have to double check, make sure they still have them. But yeah, I mean Juan, I don't know, I don't know if he's here yet, but Juan and I keep buying them. <laughs> they they keep, um, yeah, every time they pop up, we're like, well, why not? It's twenty bucks. So yeah, still very fruity. All the gem bean flavors I love, and I think honestly, I'm already looking at this blind flight over here, and I feel like these single barrels may blow them away. I don't know, that, that's just an early opinion, but that's why I didn't include them. I wanted to do them separately. I wanted to do this Jim Beam lineup completely separate. Um, before we get to that, I'm going to move on to the 108 proof Jim Beam. Like I said, this is the new label. Um, they did have a similar label to this that was still the 95 proof, so double check before you buy it because um, it's, it's very easy to get confused. They, they, they aren't very clear. Like on the website, you, you don't know what you're getting. Um, yeah, I mean, it says the exact same things. The only things that it says on this that the other one didn't say was um, unfiltered. So... Maybe they kind of want a re repeal batch route with that, because that's like the big deal with the repeal batch. It's non-chill filtered. Um, yeah, so maybe they were going in that direction, but um, James says, I was approved for a Buffalo Trace Company barrel pick. Oh, nice. Um, want to work together on it. I have to wait for next season to pick it. Pfft, yes. I mean, I have a few guys out here in my local group that are really, really interested in barrel picks. Um, we just don't have like a company sponsor. So absolutely. Um, send me a message. Let's, let's chat. Cause I, I would love to do a barrel pick and I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure you guys, especially with Buffalo Trace, you guys would totally buy it. Like <laughs> I don't have to worry about selling it. I, I think we could, we could pretty much sell that whole barrel. So, um, yes, James, very interested. So please let me know. So on the nose, the, the, the 108 proof, hmm. So back and forth, it's funny. I feel like I get more oak on the 95 proof. Um, this is like going nose to nose. This one is almost, ooh, almost spilled it. I, I have like six glasses. I'm like, they're very close together. <laughs> this one on the nose, is more in the Knob Creek territory. The the first one reminded me a lot of a Baker's, like that fruity. I always consider Baker's more of a fruity, like fruit forward with the oak to follow. Whereas I feel like Knob Creek is very oak forward. Hey Doug, what's up? Thank you for stopping in, man. Um, just going in for the 108 proof Jim Beam single barrels. Cheers. I will say this is my very first time trying this. I just opened this bottle right before the stream. Definitely way more, way more knob creaky. Knob creaky. Very dry. Almost astringent oak. Like it's almost. So the price point on this, what was the price point on this? I think it was 30. Do any of you guys know what the price on the new single barrel is? I'm going to double check that because that, that would affect my judgment. <laughs> Um, hmm, let me check my emails just to see what I paid for it. I think it was 30, but if I paid more than that, I'm going to be not so happy. Um, Jim Beam, surely it'll pop up. Um, yeah, so way more stringent, very, very, not, not quite nutty. I, I honestly wouldn't guess this is like a Jim Beam label. I would be way more inclined to think that this is a, um, a, um, Knob Creek. 
So, let me see. Yeah, so I paid 20 for the, the old label one. I'm trying to see what I paid for the new one. There we go. 35. So that's about the same price as the the other one's supposed to be. It's about it's it, it's like they didn't change the price for it. They kept the price of the old one. They just discounted the old one because the new one's in stock. Um Ah, that's a tough one. Don't get me wrong, it's good. But that's I mean you're you're creeping into the Knob Creek territory, but not quite the proof of a Knob Creek single barrel, but you're charging as much as a Knob Creek single barrel. You see you see my dilemma here, y'all? Like it's very reminiscent of a Knob Creek single barrel, but it's 12 proof points lower. Um, I think it's very bright. It's very forward. It's same flavor profile, but it's not as deep dark. It's not as aged for sure. I can guarantee you this is not a nine-year-old single barrel like a Knob Creek would be. Joseph, what's up, man? Good to see you. So Brian's a mod... Honestly, I, I can. I, if you want to be a mod, Joseph, I'll let you be a mod. <laughs> um, I just, I, I just pick anyone that I trust. Honestly, not that I don't trust anyone else, but when I was doing my day of making mods, these guys were the ones that were there. <laughs> ah man, I really enjoy this knob. Cre er, pff, there's the dilemma. <laughs> I really enjoy this Jim Beam Single Barrel 108 proof. However, it's so similar in flavor profile to a Knob Creek lower proof. Probably not as old. And almost the same price. I mean, I don't buy the standard Knob Creek single barrel very often. I normally opt for a store pick of it, which is around $40 to $50. This is $35. And I imagine the regular Knob Creek is supposed to be about $35 too, the, the single barrel. Um, <laughs> Joe's is trying to get banned. Um, yeah, so that's that's what I got to say about that. I know that's not, that's not what I wanted to say. I wanted it to be really good, but I also saw the price point. I'm paying exactly what I'm paying for a Knob Creek single barrel. And I think I'd go with the Knob Creek. It's it's good. I mean, if you could find this at a decent price, and if it's significantly cheaper than a Knob Creek single barrel in your area, please, please pick it up. It's a it's a great pickup. But if they're around the same price, I mean, it's it's worth paying five dollars more for a Knob Creek, at least in my opinion. It's a little like fruity, similar to a Baker's, but still, it's super oaky, a little astringent. I mean, again. These are single barrel products, so I could have just got a not so great bottle. So please don't. <laughs> with the single barrel product, you got to take reviews with a grain of salt. Um, however, I will say this old one is the ninety five proof one for twenty dollars. Keyword twenty dollars. Great. Honestly, if these are the same price, if they're both thirty five in your area, get the new one. The new one's way better. I think it's it's way more depth, way more. Um, it's more well-rounded, if that makes sense. The first, the ninety-five proof one is very bright, very light, and it's it's very refreshing. It's it's like Baker's territory, but lower proof. The other one's a little astringent for me. I don't know. Take this as you will. <laughs> it's 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 totally personal preference. I I do say try them out, but I mean I think at that, that price point I'm gonna pass and go for the Knob Creek. Um, but I'm gonna stick these. I'm gonna keep these around for the after party. We're gonna. Drink some more of those. Um, but I think it's about time to move on to the blind flight. What do you guys think? Um, what are we, what are y'all drinking? No one said anything about Jim Beam yet. Donnie, I know you said you pulled out some Jim Beam. What are you drinking? Um, I grew up dreaming, drinking Jim Beam and I don't have a single bottle. See, okay, I didn't really. I mean, honestly, I... When I was first started out getting drinking drinking bourbon, I wasn't drinking bourbon. I'll be honest. The only whiskey I ever bought was like Crown Royal, like Regal Apple, and Jack Daniels for like Jack and Cokes. Didn't drink them neat. Um, I think I skipped the Jim Beam phase. I think once I started really getting interested in whiskey, I did a little research and I found Evan Williams like Bottled and Bond, and that was like that was my go-to budget. Or actually, it was the 1783 first. So I was on the Evan Williams train versus the Jim Beam. Um, but I mean, I, I know a lot of people did start out and they think of it as like, oh, that's like a swill pour, like a, like a well drink or whatever, which I totally understand. But I think some of these, I mean, I, it, you may have noticed I did not grab the regular Jim Beam white label to do tonight. I think it's fine. Um, I think the repeal batch is the most similar to the white label. Um, I didn't want to do both of them because I think it's kind of redundant. They're, they're both about the same price. I got this repeal batch, $9.99, literally $9.99 at my liquor store. 
crazy price. Um, crown apple, yikes. <laughs> Man, it's better than the peach. We bought a bottle of the peach, and I'm not impressed. I don't, I don't like peach flavor. Like, I like peaches, but I don't like peach flavor. Um, Joseph Brazo has some country ham tonight. Man, I just finished my country ham. Miss it already. <laughs> um, Donnie says he started with Jim Beam Repeal Batch. Um, I think it's a great starter bourbon. Very mild and Yeah, I mean, $10. Um, Distiller's Cut, a great choice. Man, that's that's my guess as what it's going to win, but I have no idea. <laughs> I, blind flights always mess me up. Waiting nine more minutes to pour out a granny's batch. Gotcha, Don. You're still at work, aren't you? <laughs> you like crown peach, but you don't like the apple? Huh, interesting. I guess it's different taste. I, I just don't like artificial peach flavor. Not my thing. Very true, Donnie. He can let it air, let it aerate a bit. Especially with bookers. you got to let that open up a bit. These blind samples have been sitting out for, honestly, about four 30 minutes now um so they definitely have had plenty of time to aerate um so as we do with our blind flights on this channel i'm going to taste through each of them once um, without you guys knowing what they are um get my first impressions then i'm going to show you guys the results and then i'm going to go through not the results what they are then i'm going to go through them again and pick my favorites and then we're going to reveal to me what they are so um that's how they, that's how we've been working out lately i've been having a lot of fun doing it that way um, if you missed out earlier, um, if you're new here, first of all, welcome. Um, again, if y'all really, if y'all want to have a lot of fun tonight, um, check out Patreon down below. We are doing an after party, as we do with every other every live stream. Um, for the ten dollar tier and up, um, we do a Google Hangout. We uh, drink a lot of bourbon and have a lot of fun. So if you're interested in joining the after party tonight, we're going to start in about forty minutes here. Um, check out Patreon, and I, I will see you there. <laughs> but until then, let's go ahead and do our blind fly. I'm, I'm very, very curious to see what how, what comes of this. Um, so this is A. That was a weird experience because I was drinking, I was reading Crown Royal Apple. And I get some apple notes on this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's like power of suggestion. But I saw Crown Royal Apple and I'm like, this kind of smells like apple. Not like a Crown Royal Apple, like artificial. But there's some, I would say like a, like a green apple peel on the nose. Thank you, Donnie. Appreciate it. Wait, we drink. Yes, we drink. That's... Or you don't have to drink on the after party. You can do whatever you want. But usually I use it as a time to finish off everything I've poured tonight. <laughs> Maybe pour a couple more. We'll see. Yeah, really light. Really green apple-y. Not as nutty as I would have thought. Yeah, well, you can't really judge the nose on the first one. You got, you, you got a blind flight, so you got to work your way up. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. Now that is Jim Beam. <laughs> that is a very classic Jim Beam profile. These, I think, were not off profile. They were still pretty obviously Jim Beam, like the brand. This, though, whatever this first one is, it's classic Jim Beam. I, I think it's it's nutty. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not my favorite thing about Jim Beam. It's that nuttiness. There's not much of a finish. It's got a good bit of heat on it. But... I don't know. I, I don't think it's. I don't know. It, it's okay. I, I, I got to come back to it. Like I said, first first one in a blind flight, you can't make many judgments about because you don't have anything to compare it to. So moving on to bourbon B. Still almost that green green apple, like almost like a Jolly Rancher. Why am I getting Jolly Rancher? I didn't get it on any of these two. Maybe it's because we're coming from something that I imagine these single barrels are a bit older. They have way more oak. I'm going to something that's like younger. And I think that might be bringing out that green apple note. <laughs> we are bad influences on each other, Brandon. Yeah, so on the nose, this one has a good bit more oak character. It almost comes across as a little higher proof on the nose, but parched peanuts, parched peanuts. What would a parched peanut? I don't know what that means. What is parched? I'm gonna sound dumb. Is it like roasted peanuts? <laughs> Steven Sussman. Um, yes, Stephen, uh, Stephen and Brandon are the worst influences, but also they're fun hanging to, fun to hang with. Yeah, on the nose, this one's similar, actually, like surprisingly very similar. That was water. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't water, but that was obviously one of the lower proof ones. Um... 
I know it's not quite fair, but we're not really that high in the proof range. The highest one we had was 108. That one is a very, like, almost identical flavor profile as the first one. Less, more of the green apple, more like a Jolly Rancher. Less of the candy, like the caramelness. Is the first one? Let me go back to the first one real quick. Oh, dried out. Okay, gotcha. Parse. Oh, okay. I was thinking, I was thinking poached, like poached eggs. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know what dry roast in the shell. Oh, I love those. Am I a weirdo? I eat, I sometimes eat them with the shell. I know. I had a family member that did it. I was like, ew, that's gross. And then I did. I was like, mm. <laughs> I know it's not good for you. I, I don't encourage it, but I, I sometimes eat them in the shell. I don't, I get that more on the first one. First one has way more going for it, but it's also classic Jim Beam. Not really, it, it is the roasted peanuts actually. Yeah, now that you say that. Definitely on the first one. Second one though, like I said nose is very similar. Second one just sounds, just tastes like a watered down version of the first one. And I think that's kind of like, <laughs> that's about as much as I can say the first round time through. I mean, I'm, nah. I'll bring the water out when I do the second round. I do want to make it fair between all these. All right, moving on to sample letter C. Um, speak, no, so speaking of C, <laughs> I was thinking of Sam. Welcome, I Whiskey She Wines, um, Bobby and or Sam, but most likely Sam. Um, check out their channel. They are so much fun. I, I love them. I haven't seen their Booker's review yet. They just posted. Um, gotta check that out. I have not seen the new Booker's batch here, so. I still, man, these noses are way more similar than I would have thought. This one leans more cherry. Like, that versus green apple. It's way fruitier than I thought, though. Um, it's pretty astringent. I mean, it's astringent like the second one was. I don't know. I'm not getting much on the nose today. Maybe maybe my nosing is just off today. <laughs> Both here. What's up? Cheers to Bobby and Sam um, with Sample C. We're doing a blind flight of a bunch of Jim Beam labels tonight. Hmm. So that one's lower proof again. I think I can tell which ones are the <laughs> which ones are the lower proof and which ones are the higher proof ones. Um. This one's a lower proof one, but I will say. Flavor-wise and mouthfeel-wise, it's significantly better than number two. It's it does it, it's nutty, but it's more of the. I just always try to find something to compare it to in the Jim Beam lineup, like flavor-wise, because y'all know what I mean. Like Baker's is more fruity, or whatever you interpret it as. Knob Creek is way more oaky. Um, Basil Hayden, I don't know. I don't. I don't drink Basil Hayden. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so nose-wise, the third one is very similar to the first two, but I think palette-wise, it's it's way more interesting with palette. Some of that dustiness that is there, but I think it's more well-rounded. Um, at least first, these are first impressions. We're gonna go back through once you guys know what the results are. Finally, on to sample D. This one has the most unique nose. This nose is. Completely different. I mean, this nose is like some of these single barrels over here. Yeah, these other ones are more like light, bright, fruity. This one is more back into the typical Knob Creek kind of nose, which y'all know I'm a sucker for Knob. So let's go in for sample D. Oh yeah, loving that one. I know, I'm not supposed to give opinions yet, I'm supposed to be just giving notes, but that is quintessential what I look for in any Jim Beam labeled product. If it has the name Jim Beam on it, I'm not talking about the Bookers or the Knob Creeks or the Bakers. If something says Jim Beam on it, I want that nuttiness, but I want some of the other elements from the higher proof and more expensive options. So, what's up Cohen? Good to see. Um, assuming uh, um, the uh, Rock Gut Review, I was like, what is it? I, like, I know his name, what's his channel? Rock Gut Review may have just finished. Um, if y'all missed his stream earlier, um, he started like 30 minutes before I started, so go check out his replay. 
um, and vice versa. If you're here watching the replay after his stream, um, what's up? Leave a comment below saying hashtag replay squad if you're here for this replay. <laughs> I just, I'm curious to see like who, who like watches what live and then comes into the replay of the others. I know it's a lot to keep up with, but okay. So I've tasted through these. I've got some initial thoughts and impressions, but I do want to show you guys the results before I take a look at them. Um, so you guys are ready to see. If you, for some reason, don't want to see the results, um, you can look away now. <laughs> so let me know if let me know if I'm on the right page, first of all, and this isn't like an old page. Also, let me know if you can read it. And if, if we're good, give me like a thumbs up or say we're good. Um, is the new Bookers in Cali yet? Um, I have not seen it. Honestly, I haven't even seen more of the... We've gotten very little of the um, first batch of Bookers. I don't know if that's in focus, you guys. Let me know. Please let me know if it's not. Um, or, if something, or if you can't read something. Or if it's upside down. <laughs> um, but these are the results. I, I don't want to look at it to make sure it's in frame. But if y'all can't see it, I'll, I'll try holding up again or closer to the camera or something. Uh, haven't seen the new bookers yet in um, Western North Carolina yet. I assume WNC is Western North Carolina. Um, so no one's responded yet. I know there's a bit of a delay. So, okay, Brandon's got it. So, oh, I almost looked at it. I was like, oh, no, I didn't see, I didn't see anything there. Don't worry. <laughs> so those are the results. Um, I don't know if they're A, B, C, D or one, two, three, four. You can, you can do simple math or... <laughs> compare numbers with letters i don't know anyways we're going back to number one or letter a first again so after doing all four i may be able to pull out a little bit more on the nose i'm enjoying the nose of a way more than i did the first time around it's almost like a you know, when I said green apples earlier, I'm almost getting more like a candied apple, like or even a caramel dipped apple, something like fair. This, the first one reminds me of fair food. It's like a caramelized green apple or even like a, you know, I don't know if you guys have had it, but it's like a candied apple that's been dipped in caramel. It's like a double, double dipped candied apple. I get that on the nose of the first one. Hey, what's up, Ed? And like I said, I, I said, like, you must have just finished your review. I saw a couple of your people come in. Um, like I said, if y'all missed his stream, go check out his replay. And if you're here from his stream, um, welcome. Uh, good to see you. Um, he and I need to talk because we definitely want to do a stream together. Definitely, like, we want to do something video game related. So keep an eye out for that um, coming here soon. Um, I don't know when because, like I said, next week I'm moving, so I'm not going to be live. But I, I, I have a few other ideas coming soon. So I think some pretty exciting... It's going to be a pretty exciting month once I, once I get over the stress of moving into a new place. I, I'm so stressed. We signed the lease today. Oh, man, it's it's stressful because I have three big projects work. I was complaining about two projects like a couple days ago. Now I got three. So luckily only one is officially due before we move. But it's just like trying to plan a move and having major projects at work is not a good combination. But... Okay, one's good. It's almost like rye-ish. It has some of that like new like peppermint eucalyptus. Who moves on a Thursday? Um, someone that doesn't want to pay moving rates on a weekend, which is just twenty dollars more an hour to move on the weekend. So, um, that's why we're moving on a Thursday. Also, like I have like so many personal sick vacation days or whatever I'm gonna call it. Um, I need to use them anyways. So that's that's my plan. Um, we're on a month to month lease, so literally you only have a thirty day window. To be like. Here's my notice, and here's when I'm moving in. They only were able to hold our apartment for us, the new place, for two weeks. If we did not move in within two weeks, we didn't get it. So it was like, it had to be really fast. That's how it works out here in California. Things come and go so quickly. Some of y'all that are in California know the struggle. <laughs> okay, so I do want to compare A and D. A is very bright. It doesn't taste very old. It's sweet, but not really in a, like I said, still that brown sugar kind of sweetness. Not really like a deep, dark, rich, like caramelized candy, but more of like a brown sugar. D. Mm. They're very similar. I just think I prefer the flavor profile of D. I think D has a lot more oak. It tastes a little bit more well-aged. Um... It's a little drier though. I, the, I, the one benefit I give A over D is A is very light and it's very drinkable, I would say. Um, I do not have any more distillers cut, but to know that Total Wine still has any, um, 
I may be interested. If next time you go to Total Wine and you see it, if it's that price, I'd love if you could grab me a bottle. We can meet up somewhere. You're you're nearby. Um, I, I I'm only have like one bottle left, so <laughs> I like to stock up, stock up on it. Um, so yeah, I think I prefer D a bit over A, but let me choose between B and C. Like I said, I know that two of these are 100 proof and I know two of them are 86 proof. I ne not necessarily want to say that like it's totally fair, but I do want to pick which 86 I prefer over the 86 and which 100 I prefer over the 100, if that makes sense. So B is still in that caramel apple territory. I think A and B are very, very similar. Mm. That lower proof is just like, it kills it for me. I'm not, I'm not digging it. It's okay. It's, it's just nothing more than okay. It tastes like standard Jim Beam white label personally. So let's move on to C. C is still that low proof, but it has much more character. I think whatever, whichever one this is, which I'm going to do my guess as soon, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I could be wrong, <laughs> but I think I'm right, at least about these two, the, the B and C. I think I know what those are. A and D, I could be wrong. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I know B and C. All right, so time for a final judgment on A and D. Um, I'm going to rinse out for some water. I uh, forgot about Jimmy Double Up. Me too. I actually have never bought a bottle of this before. This is my first bottle. Um, I'm I'm pretty impressed. I mean, again, doing it blind is completely different than just been drinking on its own. Like, just drinking on its own, I've been really impressed with it. Um, it was only like $16, so I cannot complain for the price. It's, it's, it's just a great one to just have around. Um, are you talking about the Lay's flavor? Oh, they like pick your own flavor. Philly cheesesteak? Eh. Carnitas Street Taco. Ooh. I love Carnitas Tacos. Um, chili root. Eh, that's, I think the Carnita Street Taco sounds delicious. Mmm. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> Six of the try and shoot salt and vinegar. Oh, I have to be in a certain mood for salt and vinegar. I used to eat it all the time, but like now I'm like, I usually actually, my favorite chip, other than like Doritos and stuff, I usually go for like the Ruffles, like the, the green, what is the green one? Cheddar and sour cream. That's like my go-to chip flavor. They had a one called All Dressed for a while that was super flavorful. It's like a Canadian thing, I think. Um, that one was... Delicious. Okay, back to the whiskey. <laughs> okay, making the final judgment between A and D. Lil, hey, if you got some time before work, come to the after party and drink it with us. <laughs> this is going to be a tough call for me. A is very, very good. But every time I go from A to D, I'm like, I think I prefer D. Okay, my final order in terms of favorite to least favorite is D-A-C-B, or if they're numbers, I don't know if they're numbers, 4, 1, 3, 2. Um, that's my final, final order, um, blind. Now, guesses, I think A is the Jim Beam Bonded. I think B is the Repeal Batch. I think C is the um, Double Oak, and I think D is the Distiller's Cut. Just my guess. Could be wrong. <laughs> So let's get to the re results. So, so I said my least favorite was B. Let's see what B is. Oh, I was wrong. Well, darn. <laughs> my least favorite was the double oaked, apparently. Huh. I could have sworn this was the um, repeal batch because it just tasted basic to me. Yeah, blind. I mean, it, it just literally, my one complaint, the reason I thought it was repeal batch is my one complaint with repeal batch tastes like standard Jim Beam, maybe a little better. I could be wrong. Maybe that non-chill filtering and that slightly higher proof could be doing it for it. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, that's a good thing to know that I prefer the repeal batch over the double oak. Um, let's go to my second, like I said, so my third place in that case is Repeal Batch. Um, second place, which was A, is, I guessed it, Jim Beam Bonded. Um, yeah, it, it's good. Like I said, it's, it's my second place. That's not bad at all. It just lacked slightly 
more character than D did. And of course, D is the distiller's cut. I knew that was going to win. I, I I mean, literally, I went to this non-biased. I could have gotten those two wrong. But Distiller's Cut, I think, is like a more... Jim Beam Bonded is more traditional Jim Beam, like white label just amped up and 100 proof. Distiller's Cut, though, is more special. I think I, I think what would be fun to do is compare Distiller's Cut to like a Knob Creek small batch. They're both the same proof, and I would love to pick which one is my favorite there. Because, I mean... Occasionally, Knob Creek Small Batch goes on sale for $22, $23. This is $18 or $19. Those are within a couple dollars of each other. So maybe coming soon, now that I know this is my favorite Jim Beam label product, I'll have to do a comparison with that and Knob Creek. Um, I knew you would like the repeal batch more. Oh, really? Yeah, you were right, Eric. It um, be cool to do a throwback beam decanter for the 225th. Oh, my God. I would love if they release a new decanter. That'd be so much, so much fun. Um... Get a 750 milliliter of um, repeal batch for yeah 999 repeal batch 999 out here in California. So if you're in California, hell yes. I mean th it's third place, but at the same time it's lower proof, and I'm a bit of a proof snob. So <laughs> um, yeah, 10 bucks. I mean up to 15. I don't think I would pay more than like 18. Don't pay like 18 plus for this, but if you can get it between less than 18 dollars, basically, totally recommend it. Yeah, but of course distiller's cut. For eighteen dollars, significantly better, way, way, way better. Um, Distiller's cut is better than repeal batch for me, nine day difference. Yes, Donnie, I totally agree. Also, you know the reason I, <laughs> I get so frustrated about that because um, y'all know I love Chad and Sarah from It's Bourbon Night. Like, honestly, probably my favorite whiskey YouTube channel ever. No offense to all the other ones, I, I love them all, but they were the ones that got me started, and I watched them religiously. They said they preferred repeal batch over distiller's cut. And I was like, ugh, just try them. And they did a blind flight and they still said that. So I'm like, okay, well, everyone has their own taste, but uh, I think distiller's cut is significantly better than repeal batch. I mean, like, worlds, like, more than, like, $5 difference. That's, like, a $10 difference at least. Distiller's masterpiece for 200 Have not tried that one. Um, Booker's Light, interesting. Well, did I not... I, I could be wrong, but I feel like I did say this has a Booker's profile. I'm pretty sure I said this has a Booker's flavor profile. If so, I feel like, ooh. <laughs> Distillers cause no longer being produced. Yeah, that's kind of what I had a feeling. But it was fun while it lasted. I mean, it's it's still similar to this Jim Beam single barrel, the new one. But it's like, I don't know. Repeal Batch is 16, Distillers cuts 26. At that price, Donnie, I would go to Distillers Cut every time. Now, depending on what you can get Knob Creek for, because Knob Creek goes for that $26 price here. Something in Distillers Cut is missing in the repeal badge. Well, first of all, the proof. <laughs> Second of all, I think Distillers Cut has way more of that age element that we love, especially if you're like a Knob Creek fan like me. It has that rich oakiness that that the, the Distillers Cut doesn't, or the repeal badge doesn't have. Um... That's true. I, I have not tried the new just, um, Old Tub Co. And I'm actually trying to get a bottle. I have a friend that's got me a bottle of the old one, the one that was distillery only. Um, but I, I'm on the lookout. I haven't seen... If you see the Old Tub out here in California, let me know, because I'm interested in buying that too. <laughs> Distillers Masterpiece is finished whiskey. Interesting. Finished... Well, there's the finished... Um, the What is the... Um, the Japanese one? That It's not... But it's finished in like different casks. Legion. Legion is a finished Jim Beam product. Prefer store picks from Knob Creek. Oh, yeah. That's hands down my favorite. That and with Booker's going up in price, I think if I had the two side by side, I would definitely grab the Knob Creek store pick over the Booker's. Now, to be fair, I would probably buy one of each Booker's just to say I've tried it. But I don't think I would seek out Booker's, like a second bottle of Booker's. Although, I have like six bottles of Knob Creek in there. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, that was pretty fun. I'm, I'm actually very intrigued with the results. Um, Distiller's Cut still reigns supreme for me. So uh, let me know what you guys think, especially if you're watching the replay. Um, what did you think of the flight? Do you think you would have picked the same or do you think you would have picked different? Um, but I think that about does it today. Like I said, again, I keep throwing to the Patreon, but like y'all don't want to miss the hangout. I'm feeling a little, feeling a little cliffy here. So um, if you guys want to come to the hangout, I'm going to get started here in about five to ten minutes. Um... May go grab a couple other Jim Beam products. Might pull out a Booker's or a Knob Creek since we've been talking about them. Um, but, yeah, so, y'all, feel free. And also, you can become a Patreon supporter and you don't have to do the $10 one. You can still support me at any level. Like, it's $2 and up. 
all the support is super appreciated. I I love it. We just passed our goal of a hundred dollars a month. I'm so shocked and impressed, and I'm just so excited to share like some exclusive stuff with you guys. I have a lot of things planned with that. So, cheers. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Or no, I won't. I will not see you next week because I'm moving. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll see you guys um, in two weeks. I may upload a video next week um, to kind of fill the time, but but heavy D maybe heavy D is that your name, Donnie? <laughs> Sounds good. All right, cheers, you guys, and until next time, um, I'm Clifton, and this is Bourbon Bites whiskey reviews with a retro twist. I'm gonna be doing a good bit more gaming here very very soon. So cheers, and I'll see y'all in two weeks. <laughs>